Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophonet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. We're going to do another scavenger hunt today, namely the uh, Master Crafted Griffin School Gear. So we should finish up the uh, armor set and the weapons of the Griffin School Gear. You can see uh, a basilisk flying around behind me, but that's not where we're headed. We're at Skalaga at the moment and I'm going to show you the location on the map for the Silver Sword diagram immediately. So I... Uh, Traveled to Fornhalla. It's to the uh, the western side of uh, Art Skellig, so the main island. So if you you normally should have Iron Bjorn by this uh, point in the game. So just go east, and then you'll uh, find this Fornhalla marker alongside this uh, little lake. And on the other side of the lake, there's a ruin, and there we should find our first diagram of the day. So let's cross the water. I think I can do that without uh, agitating the. Uh, Basilisk, is it still flying around over there? Yeah, let's, well, let uh, let live and uh, all that stuff. So let's jump up and let's see. We should find a marker here first. There is also a uh, a radiant quest around here, but we'll see about that when we get inside. Look around some. Yes, indeed, might want to look around some. Seems like there's a tower over there. I'm guessing that should be a nice spot to leave the gear. And there it is, the Griffin Silver Sword Mastercrafted. Let's take a quick look at what that question mark over here is, though. A monster den. Well, now that we're at it, might as well enter this place, right? Hello? Just some knackers, it seems. Let's take care of those immediately. There we go. Oh. And there's one behind me. And that seems to be it for now. Let's see, there's a big chest over here locked huh interesting is there a key then somewhere a few jail cells maybe this was a prison once oh wait there's something here crumpled letter dear sir you were kind enough to share with me your doubts concerning the contract you made it clear you believe it is impossible for a man to turn into a necker you even drove the point home with a humorous comparison saying i believe same as a pig won't turn into a horse not even if you strap a saddle on it and call it black beauty it is entirely possible that you are right, but if there exists even the shadow, shadow of a chance that my son has been imprisoned in the body of that monster, that some spell or curse has done this to him, then I will not rest until I try every possible way of helping him. That is why I would ask you to refrain from further attempts at humor and keep your doubts to yourself. Instead, channel those energies towards doing the job for which you shall be paid. Catch the necker and collect your gold, the rest should not interest you. Respectfully yours, Robert the Mayor. Huh, interesting. So that might indicate that there was a Witcher here once. Tasked with uh, capturing a Necker. And there seems to be a lot of Neckers in here. But uh, that guy apparently failed. There seems to be a few more here. So let's quickly take a look. I'm not interested in uh, trying to find out if there's a... Uh, well, a boy hidden inside of the body of one of these Neckers. Doesn't look like I even get the chance to do that. This cave goes on for quite a while and there's a blood trail going around here as well. A Necker Warrior. Would that have been it? Seems to be another body here. Alchemist's letter and, and a key. Dearest Robert de Meer, thank you for sending a bill of exchange, exchange in advance and for your understanding I, if I gave out advice for free, I'd very quickly run myself out of business. You wrote that your son went missing while on a voyage and that near the place where he was last seen there now lurks a necker who wears a tattered shirt with your son's monogram suit on it. If you asked if it is possible that this necker was your son trans you asked if it was possible that this necker was your son transformed by a spell. After consulting the relevant literature it pains me to inform you that your hypothesis is highly improbable and that there exists a much simpler and more likely explanation. Contrary to popular belief, Neckers are a sapient species. Like forest trolls, they will at times decorate themselves with pigments or scraps from of human garments. One can with some confidence surmise that this Necker killed your son, tore up his shirt and then donned it of some or some fragment thereof. While that is most likely the case, one cannot be certain. Though I have not heard of any curse capable of turning a man into a Necker, I cannot rule out the possibility of its existence. In order to find out if the above-mentioned Necker truly is a creature born of a curse, the tattered shirt it wears must be taken from it, cut into shreds and burned. The shirt's ashes can then be mixed with dimeridium dust 
If the resulting substance changes color, it will confirm your hypothesis, but the necker would be dead in that case. If the experiment I described turns into a pos positive result, please write me. I would gladly undertake further examinations meant to find a way to lift this curse. For additional payment, of course. Greetings, Klaus Kellerman Magister Artibus Oxoniensis. And the man here must then be the father of that boy. And yeah, indeed. That probably means that, well, the necker was just a necker and not the man's son. Let's see if we can open that chest now and otherwise we'll just head towards the next uh, diagram location but this is kind of interesting as well i think so let's check this out there we go a nice bit of loot okay so let's head towards the seal sword upgrade diagram location so next up is the armor diagram seems like my yeah because i wanted to go to the steel sword diagram first but i think the armor diagram should be around here somewhere. There seems to be an earth elemental here as well. But my quest is a bit bugged from now on apparently as well. Because the armor upgrade diagram doesn't have a marker anymore. Uh, or is it the steel sword? Oh, it's a steel sword that's bugged. Never mind. Just gonna kill this earth elemental first. There we go. Some crit kill hits in and... Uh, taken care of so let's take a look around let me quickly show you on the map because it should be located at Boxholm over here so that's right in the center of Art Skellig right there near Boxholm and I think it should be in the ruins around here somewhere oh yeah I think I found it if you climb up from behind yeah behind where the uh, the earth elemental was so that's where we fought him up here is the uh, to the left of this tower is the uh, diagram so Last but not least, the armor upgrade diagrams. Okay, bye. So, next up is the armor upgrade diagrams. It seems that there's a Cyclops running around here. Um, so, yeah. Let's take care of that first. How you like that silver? Oh, that was easier than the Earth Elemental for some reason. Never mind. Um, let's see. So I'll quickly show you this on the map first. So still on Art Skellig, to the east side of the island, there's a marker named Red Gill. I started out from there and there's an easy path going up towards we where we are right now. So it's right over there next to that guarded treasure. So let's take a look now, shall we? So the first thing we need to do is probably check out the marker around here. Yeah, there we go. So there's the Griffin marker. Might want to look around some. Indeed we should. Because there seems to be more in here than just the diagrams. Because the diagrams are probably going to be around here somewhere. Either inside of the building or around it. Don't walk off now, Geralt. Don't walk off. Looks tempting, I know. But don't just commit suicide. Uh, let's see. It must be inside here then. There's a place of power here as well. Interesting. But... Um, doesn't seem to be anything here either, so might as well take a look upstairs then. If there are any stairs left, that is. Because I don't see an easy way up for the moment. Oh, but it seems I can climb up near the Griffin sign and use that as a staircase to get up. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so now we can get higher. Medallion's humming. Place of power. It's gotta be. So that's interesting on its own, so let's just quickly draw from that first. There we go. And then we have hidden treasure, so... There's two chests over here. Okay, so that's the left one contains all the armor diagrams, and the right one... ...has witch hunter's armor. That's interesting. I'm luckily not overburdened just yet, so let's take a look around. Is this... This just leads back into the building downstairs which i'm actually going to use because otherwise i might get some damage could probably have used that but it's a bit hidden to get up there as well but there we go that's all the uh, diagram locations so now let's head to the blacksmith and assemble all that nice and quickly so hello hattori my man can you help me out Greetings. You should idea. be able to help Greetings, me out because you're the only oh, master blacksmith I know. So I'd like you to craft something for me. Listen, would you craft something for me? 
Griffin Silver Sword Mastercrafted. Looks like a nice damage upgrade. The sign intensity is of course still amazing because I actually might start using those. Why not, eh? So, the Griffin Silver Sword, uh, Superior, you need that. Leather Scraps, Dimeridium Ingot, Monster Feather, and Monster Heart. No problem at all. There we go. And then the Steel Sword, Mastercrafted, Leather Scraps, Dimeridium Ingots, Monster Eggs, and Siren Vocal Cords. Probably the most annoying thing to find. But still looks like a pretty nice upgrade. So, there we go. No problem at all. Griffin Steel Sword, Mastercrafted. So as always, thank you Hattori, and now let's so head to Crow's Perch and uh, have a little chat with Joanna. It is a pretty stormy day in the world of the Witcher, but uh, we arrived at Crow's Perch and we're gonna try and see if Joanna can help us out and build us that entire armor set. Geralt, good of you to come Hello Joanna, need you to make me some armor. Need some armor made, Witcher's armor. Yes, indeed, a very nice set of Witcher armor. So, first up, we can make the Mastercrafted Griffin trousers immediately. So, the superior ones, silk, leather scraps, meteorite silver ingot, and a monster egg. There we go, trousers. The Mastercrafted Griffin gauntlets. So, cured leather, a meteorite silver plate, that's probably the hardest one to get, buy some string, and monster tongues. No problem at all. There we go, the gauntlets. The Master Graf Crafted Griffin Body Armor. Two, two Cured Dragonite Leather. Three Dimeridium Plates. That's a very hefty one because I'm going to need that Dimeridium for the Grandmaster Gear as well. One Fifth Essence and one Monster Brain. So that was a pretty hard one to come by, but there we go. Griffin Armor. And lastly, the Master Crafted Griffin Boots. Hardened Leather. One Meteorite Silver Ingot, some String, and I needed to make a few Monster Claws, so that's why it's last in uh, my list. So there we go. Now let's uh, quickly slip that on. So thank you, Joanna. Take care now. And let's quickly slap that on there. There we go, a man in shining armor, the Mastercrafted Griffin armor. Let's see how much the difference is, how big of the differences there are. I think the chainmail wasn't gold before. And there's a... I don't even know if there was chainmail in there before. Let's take a look. So yeah, that's the biggest difference. I'm looking at a picture right now of it. So that's the biggest difference with the uh, normal set. Well, the previous set is that there's a chainmail added to the mix. So now he's completely wrapped in a golden layer. Look at that. And now that we have this Mastercrafted gear, I'm going to end it in uh, Corvo Bianco and add that gear to the rest of the armor stands. So there we go, back in our lovely home at uh, Corvo Bianco. Let's take a quick look inside and uh, put the armor on uh, our leftmost armor stand right here. There we go, look at that, the nice golden armor added to the set. And let's find a nice stand for the weapons, probably this weapon rack over here. There we go, that's one. And there's two, look at that, all the swords on the wrap and rack and the armor stand right here. So let's put myself right in the middle here. And uh, well, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. Hope you guys uh, found it useful, this video. And uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel, because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.